Hello, Kathy, and everyone watching this, and welcome to this wonderful new platform where I am hugely honored to be interviewing incredible people, and not just from the same industry, but across lots of different industries, and also internationally like today. So what better than to be joined by this fabulous, fabulous woman, Kathy Van Maastricht from Munich, who is the assistant business partner at Google in Munich and a superstar woman. Now, she has not only lived in one country, but seven, seven countries and speaks four languages and has two beautiful children. So I am absolutely privileged to have this fabulous interview and let me begin by saying hello Kathy, a huge welcome and how are you? How are you feeling today? Hi Emily, oh thank you for this incredible um, introduction. <laughs> um, I'm really really pleased to join you today and I think the idea that you started for this series is really wonderful and um, very glad to be part of it and um, yeah I'm feeling buzzed so very happy. Well, it's a pleasure. It really is a pleasure, Cathy. And um, before I kick start and ask you something, um, I want to find out because a little birdie told me that you have a first today. So what is that first today that's happening? <laughs> Yeah, true. Um, very true. Um, <laughs> this may seem uh, come as a surprise for people, uh, especially since we've been um, in the global lockdown situation. But this is actually my first video interview. Um, first time I'm being recorded for video. So um, I'm very excited and I'll tie that into probably some things we talk about in a little bit about um, pushing your pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. So I am definitely out of my comfort zone right now. Well, you look cool and calm and collected and that is so awesome. And I love the fact that you are rocking the first interview and I get to be um, quite selfish in saying that, ha ha, I've had that first interview with Kathy and oh, it's so awesome. really. <laughs> I will remember this and it's a, a wonderful milestone to be sharing with you. So thank you. And uh, so during this entire time in lockdown, Kathy, what has been your guilty pleasure, shall we say? Um, apart from eating chocolate, which is a normal guilty pleasure, I think, for many of us. Um, and I've really um, been out for walks every single day. I know it sounds um, maybe a little bit boring. I've heard a lot of people say this, but it's been a bit of a savior for me. I'm lucky to live in an area just south of Munich where I literally open my front door and I can go for um, a number of different walks in different directions. Yeah. So I really realized that key to kind of keeping your sanity in this situation is, uh, is to get out and exercise and clear your head after a busy day. Uh, and I'm fortunate enough to have been able to do that right at my doorstep. And um, I continue to do that. In the last two weeks, the weather was not so great. So it was a bit frustrating not to be able to get out regularly. And um, I could feel the difference. So it's something that I also hope I can keep up once we all move back into offices and whatever our constellation will be. So that has been an absolute, hopefully healthy, guilty pleasure. Definitely. And I think you are not alone when um, the word chocolate comes up. <laughs> We've all got that uh, secret, or not so secret, chocolate cupboard. And, um, and, and I think it's very true, isn't it? There's so much beauty in the nature around where we live, and it can be in such small pockets and small spaces, and it can be in large spaces, and, and something that really does uh, remind us that when we go back to those very sort of simple moments and simple times of, of just enjoying and taking everything in around us, how, how rewarding to our well-being that can be. And so um, it's, it's lovely. I think you uh, have, have hit the nail on the head there and getting out there and having that, that time just to connect with yourself really and disconnect from technology. It's important, isn't it? Absolutely. And I find um, one observation I had is that already for years and years, um, you know, all the, um, the shabby chic 
uh, things that we have hanging in our homes with all the, the sayings and the, you know, you only live once and live your life the best way and all these sayings. And um, what all of that was saying already to us over the years is like, you know, stop and smell the flowers and stop and look at the details. But I'm not sure how many of us were actually doing that. And now we've all been forced to do that. Yeah. Sometimes in a way that you're just, you know, you're confronted with things that you're like, Ooh, how, how am I going to deal with that? Yeah. Um, but then when you get out and you do, you are able to enjoy even a short walk to get some nature around you and you really are able to distill and really simplify things, you really do realize it's about the simple things. So, um, yeah, I hope that people will start looking at whatever sayings they have hanging around their house in a different way as well and really start living that instead of just saying, hey, that's cool. That's what I would like to aspire to, but that we're all starting to live more that way. It is. It's the small blessings and things that we, uh, if you like, can fall victim to taking for granted a little bit because yeah. think, oh, we'll just get that finished or just do that. And then before you know it, it's too late and it's you know time to eat and then, oh, right, okay, now it's time to go to bed. And um, so, yeah, I think it, it's lovely and, and yeah. so much is... Uh, adapting during our day-to-day -day routines and and in that respect I suppose um, you know taking the likes of, of routines and how businesses are adapting how have Google responded at this time in terms of adapting to the current like situation what have you found yeah. um, to, to change during your day really when it comes to work um, the, the obvious change moving from, from an office situation into a working from home situation is, is for, for, I think the majority of us, very obvious. Mm -hmm. Um, one thing that I've noticed that hasn't been so much of a change for me, um, but has been very much, uh, a reinforcement of something that, um, really amazed me when I started working for Google, I've been there just under a year. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, is the care that uh, employees have for each other, that Googlers have for each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, um, it's something that, that was not extremely new to me, but the way that I've experienced it as Google is I've never experienced it anywhere else. Mm -hmm. A real true interest in other people and, um, and also uh, the world around us, so the community around us. And I've noticed that uh, there is a, a lot of focus on well-being um, and within the teams. Uh, and it's really where everybody steps up to keep in touch with each other, to communicate with each other. Um, you know, lots of uh, new ways of communicating with each other, how to make our time more efficient. Um, how can we get the most out of meetings without exhausting people by being in meetings? Uh, so a lot of things are streamlined that way. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an incredible experience. Uh, so in, in the first weeks, I think everybody suffered from being tired, getting used to this new working way of working because mm -hmm. we easily say we're working from home I think we have to kind of reconsider and maybe think that we're working at home I think there is a difference yeah. even in that little word um, but uh, a lot of emphasis on how you can still contribute how you things that you've learned how you share that with others uh, so that it basically is for the benefit of everybody and um, in to the world outside as well so that's been uh, an incredible experience. Yeah, that's I feel very really fortunate. Oh, Kathy, I, I, I love that. Thank you for sharing that because it is, isn't it? It's a culture of people. And when that's celebrated, um, people do find all the ways in which that they can yeah. still communicate and gel and glue together um in a, a really positive and effective way that you know and when that is actually uh, encouraged and supported then great things happen don't they yeah yeah it's a very it contributes to a very positive feeling yeah. and um generally i mean taking aside from from work Mm -hmm. um, I think it's very important in this time to stay connected. Um, it, it's not easy. I think the more that we, the more time we spend alone, you almost start to feel like when now the first restrictions have been lifted, I found myself when people said, oh, do you want to come over? I was like, what do you mean you want to come over? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very uh, surprising how quickly 
-hmm. I've gotten used to the fact of spending a lot of time alone. Yeah. Um, I have my children every other week. Uh, so in the weeks when I don't have them, I'm alone. And um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's been surprising, both in a negative and a positive way that you think how quickly you can actually get used to a new situation. Definitely. And, and, and I think that that's, it's, it, it, it's interesting because it's also very new, isn't it? And how it's uh, changing and on a day-to-day -day basis, but even by the hour, how yeah. new something new can be reported, uh, something from a different part of the world can then have an impact on, on how that affects what decisions are made in our own country. And, and it is, it's, it all, it all intertwines with each other. And, um, and, and I think something that, that I really, really do want to champion you for, and I can't wait to hear um, you share more information about this. And I was very, very uh, blessed, shall we say, mm -hmm. to have been invited to take part uh, because one way that I know that you have been um, developing uh, other people and really helping them at this time um, is through a program which you, um, oh, I loved it. And, and you, you absolutely, um, you know, stormed it with lots of uh, wonderful, wonderful people. And a really nice small group of us came together, again, who I had never met any of those uh, other yeah. participants. And you led us through something that was really transformational. And I don't want to give the name away, so I want you to do that. But <laughs> do tell us, Kathy, how this amazing innovation is, is just really taken hold. And, and you're doing a wonderful job, by the way, of, of developing that and leading it. Oh, thank you, Emily. Yeah, um, it's a program, it's called I Am Remarkable. It's an initiative. Uh, started by Google, by two women at Google in 2015. And um, it's been developed, uh, first it was developed internally by Google and then they soon realized that it, it, was, it had such strong messages and such uh, strong effect, positive effect that they wanted to spread that outside of Google. And um, we are a team um, of volunteer facilitators. It's a, it's a free training uh, or workshop, whichever way you'd like to look at it. And what it focuses on is um, the, uh, the skills of women and underrepresented groups. It first started as a, as a focus on, on women, um, but also with underrepresented groups for their ability to self-promote and to take away uh, some of the misconceptions about self-promotion. Um, and it's a 90-minute workshop, uh, partly interactive and also based on research. Um, and uh, we basically have very few rules in the workshop, which makes it fun. People always laugh at the Vegas rule. They always said, somebody said the other day in a training, it's like, it's amazing how the Vegas rule is known all around the world. <laughs> so it's a very safe place. Um, and uh, it takes you through a number of exercises to really create awareness of what might stop, be stopping you from self-promotion. And it's been absolutely amazing. I've had some, uh, some women in the training who, for me, I was somewhat intimidated to have them in my training were, uh, like yourself, business owners who have built up uh, their business from scratch. I've had other people who've published books, um, you know, some very, very well accomplished people. And it was remarkable, literally remarkable, in the training that it was like a switch that goes off that you become aware is like, what are you stopping within yourself from self-promoting? And it's not to uh, say that you're better than anybody else or that you're bragging, actually to the contrary. It's like, if you are able to talk freely about what your good skills, what your skill set is, and then you actually, in that way, you enable others to also open up. So it's actually bringing everybody taking it allowing everybody to take a step up so it's it's a lot of fun it was it was do you know what I really enjoyed it and I liked the fact that it took a different direction to what I mean I didn't really know truly what to expect and part of me didn't want to start pardon the pun google searching <laughs> to to try and find out I thought you know I want to go with um a, a real sort of vulnerability to it and 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 just yeah. see uh, uh, what uh, unveils actually during the actual workshop and it was it was wonderful and it did take a different angle to what I thought and um, yeah. 
and I did feel that I could, uh, it was a very sort of, uh, you created rather a, a real safe and honest and open environment in which for all of us to speak. And I found that, um, I mean, gosh, I was even touching on things and sharing on things that yeah. um, would have been quite a wrench for me to maybe like consider and and you yeah. you you really you know but that's that's down to to you Kathy and how you actually really brought everybody into that place and allowed us the time it wasn't rushed or um nothing was forced and it was really nice just to have that experience so thank you because I know that mm -hmm. um not everybody can go in and do things like that at all. There's, a, there's got to be a certain way and, and nature and you've, you've got that wonderful nature about you where oh. it's very, very honest. You've got so much integrity and, and um, you're very sincere as a person. And that's also why I wanted to interview you because I, I think a lot of you, um, I really do. Thank you, Emily. That is, that is a huge compliment coming from you. Thank you very much. And there's one very important message well for me very important message that I would like to share to to your audience and um, that by becoming a facilitator for those trainings I mentioned it earlier I really stepped out of my comfort zone and uh, I continue to do that I have an incredible fear of speaking in public I've never been comfortable for it uh, with it um, and at the the beginning of this um, lockdown situation i knew there was there was so much on on social media and and people saying oh i'm going to do this and i'm going to learn that and i'm going to i'm finally going to you know start this new hobby and this and that uh, i think that kind of happened before we all realized how busy we would still be um <laughs> and there was so much noise i felt there was so much noise everywhere and uh, i felt overwhelmed by a lot of it and um just took time to quiet and said okay what what is the one thing, if I could contribute one thing um, to, to help others in this, uh, during this time? And uh, I thought, okay, I, I had come across this I Am Remarkable training because I had taken it myself a few months earlier and, and was inspired by it and uh, then looked for a trainer to trainer, did that at the end of, the end of March and that kind of really segued my way into that. And I said, okay, then that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to overcome this fear of speaking. And then again, doing that virtually, not actually being able to read, you know, a lot of the actual body language of people. Um, and it's, it's been great. So every time you improve yourself, you push yourself out there and uh, you get, so far I've had very positive feedback. And it just brings me a lot of joy. It really does to share that and to see literally people have that switch and then like the, those aha moments. And also how freely you experience that as well within the group, how freely um, people in the workshop share, even on some very, uh, I don't want to call it emotional level because it's, it's, yeah. it's not, but it's just um, compassionate way mm. and, and letting everybody be who they are and valuing them the way that they are and what they bring to, to the workshop. Um, so it's been, it's been an incredible experience. Um, and I can only encourage anybody, if you're afraid of something, just mm -hmm. face it head on and yeah. give it a try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And if it does, who knows? exactly i i've got a real fear of gin kathy so i i must i need to tackle it head on <laughs> don't I? We, can get, no, we can do that virtually i have some recipes <laughs> oh thank you that's awesome <laughs> yeah hmm, what else do i fear no, it's very very true um but it is it's that wonderful way that um you, you've, you've beautifully explained and really, really beautifully captured as well, just how, um, how much more we have within us to tap into. Um, and, and sometimes when a new situation presents itself, it's, yeah. it feels a little harder to access perhaps, but it's there and it just needs nurturing and the right person or the right people to bring it out. And um, so thank you so much for, for sharing all about I'm Remarkable. And, and if there's anybody watching this who, who would like to take that workshop, then are you happy for them to drop a message or, you know, a, a, a share with you perhaps and let you know that there's somebody who would like to take 
apart? Yep, I, I schedule them regularly. So if anybody yeah. is um, interested, you can drop me a message. Um, and then I can add you to the list and let you know when I've scheduled the next ones uh, or um, and also provide more information by the website and so forth. So absolutely no problem. We'd be more than happy to. Thank you. That was lovely. Who knew that they were going to get access to that when they started <laughs> this? Hey, <laughs> yeah. that's pretty cool. So, and you know, as we keep moving through this time in, you know, in our lives and, and at the point of where we're all at, what would be your one piece of advice, Kathy, that comes from you that you um, think could just be really, really supportive? I mean, gosh, even more so than you have been, of course, but um, something that you think would be a really good piece of advice to anybody listening, um, parents or, you know, from a personal business capacity, anything at all, really, whichever direction you'd like to take in. Um, yeah, for me, what has worked really well, what I mentioned earlier, um, is, is to, um, to cancel out the noise from whichever direction mm -hmm. that is coming mm -hmm. and to really look for the quiet moments in all of this. I know I'm, it's, it's not easy. There's a lot of people out there who have, you know, who are, maybe have dual careers working from home and have children, homeschooling and so forth, um, whatever your situation is, but to try and find the quiet moments to really cancel out the noise and whether that is, um, you know, going for a walk or, or hiding your cell phone in a drawer or somewhere. Um, very effective, by the way. I, heard, I learned that from somebody. If you don't actually see it, you don't actually <laughs> reach for it. Um, and just to find those quiet moments. I, I started out by once in a while um, on YouTube looking for the 10-minute meditations. Uh, I don't even manage those sometimes. I found that there's also very effective five-minute meditations now. So I'll plan those in sometimes when I'm on the way to somewhere or just on my walk. Um, reduce the noise. I have found that one really effective, whatever that might mean for you. Um, but I hope that that helps. I, th I think that's really great and and, and I think it is that um, those little gems and those little things that sometimes they're right there in front of us to to use and to remind ourselves to to catch up with ourselves and have that moment but um sometimes they're the first things to go when we get busy aren't they so I think that was really yeah. nice to to remind us all Kathy so thank you and yeah just to cancel the noise and and where we can and when to, to just have those moments to ourselves just to yeah reconnect I think I think that's really important and uh, always and not just now but yes always just even yeah. if it's locking the door if you, you know and all the kids are yeah. outside <laughs> uh, yeah I'm just gonna go to the loo and, and have those two yeah. minutes and put your favorite song on to your earphones whatever it is yeah just something isn't it and um, find, find that time yeah yeah <laughs> no, and if you find, I have found personally, if you start with even finding three or five minutes mm -hmm. and you get that rest point and then you can maybe build in another one later on in the day. And uh, as we always say, once you start doing something with a bit of um, frequency, it, it becomes a habit. Yeah. And then before you know it, you've built it in and you're not even aware of it anymore. So I can highly recommend that. At least it works. It works for me. <laughs> It, it sounds really good and um, yeah it's just a, a, a wonderful suggestion and uh, I hope that lots of people will take all of this wonderful information in and um, feel even better and I'm remarkable um, lined up to sign up <laughs> and have all of this uh, you know, in their armor, just to help themselves through the day, and and I think that's what you've really provided today, Kathy. Yeah. You've you've shared some really great insight that's also you know very innovative, and it's it's all about well being, and and I think that's a, such an important uh, factor to to remind us all in this situation. But you know, going forwards as well. So thank you so much for your advice, <laughs> also. For sharing what you're doing personally during lockdown and also for the wonderful things that Google are doing and also the I'm Remarkable course. I mean, what more could we have asked for? So thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you for the opportunity to chat with you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's been a pleasure and I hope that you stay safe, stay well, all the family do and you go and have a lovely rest of your day.
Thank you. You too, Em. Thank you, everyone. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, Kathy. Bye. Bye. Bye.